Learning objectives include uh, some other physical methods uh, other than moist heat and dry heat. Uh, in radiation is another physical method, and radiation has two forms, ionizing radiation and non-ionizing radiations. And then we will also talk about mechanical methods, which include filtration to eliminate organisms from a sample. Now, as I mentioned, radiation has two forms. There's an ionizing form, which we see in the form of X-rays and gamma rays. They're used, gamma rays are used for uh, food preservation, but X-rays uh, are used for uh, medical purposes, for diagnostic imaging, but they, can also, they could also be used for uh, microorganisms, control of microorganisms, but mostly not used. Non-ionizing form of radiation is uh, uh, ultraviolet rays, where the organisms are not completely eliminated, but significantly reduced. We'll see what these causes, how they kill the organisms. Radiation, uh, if you see the spectrum of radiation, here is the, is the visible light that we, our eyes can detect. Uh, we're not able to see more than, as here, the wave, wavelength is longer so we have infrared, microwave, and radio waves, and these have different uses as well. But for the organisms to die, uh, we need more energy. So as we go on this side of the spectrum, the wavelength decreases, but the energy increases. So what this increase in energy does to the organism is that changes the DNA, basically mutates the DNA. So UV light, as well as X-rays and gamma rays, basically mutate the genomic code. So the organisms are not able to replicate because of those mutations. UV light uh, spectrum basically include from 200 nano, anywhere from 200 nanometer to 400. This is, uh, you know, roughly. And it has been seen that wavelength 200 nanometer to roughly about 280. This is more bactericidal. And this is also, you know, this, this UV light is uh, amply available in, in the sun. So if you go under the sun or in the sun, uh, you would receive this UV radiation. This radiation sometimes, especially people who have uh, light skin, they can develop cancers because this UV light can cause uh, stimulation of melanocytes and mutate them, and mutation can lead to cancer. So it is the same phenomena that the mutation can also happen in the bacteria, and that mutation causes them to, to die. Ionizing radiation is more powerful, it has more energy, and we can achieve complete sterilization objects like uh, plastic syringes and medical supplies that we use in daily life, they are gamma irradiated. Even liquids could be gamma irradiated. The injections could be gamma irradiated. Radiation, as I mentioned, changes the DNA. Another mechanical method uh, for removal of organism is used, which is filtration. Air could be filtered. There are situations when we need our air to be completely free from organisms, like uh, we are culturing cells. And you might have noticed in the lab uh, a big... Uh, a uh, cabinet type of uh, instrument lying on a, on a table that blows some air. If you look at the uh, anatomy of that small box, there is a filter called HEPA filter, which is a high-efficiency particulate air filter. It removes the particles that are bigger than 0.3 micron. And similarly, the liquids could be filtered through membranes in order to sterilize or eliminate organisms from that liquid medium. This is a picture where there is a filter assembly here, membrane. These are called membrane filter. And fluid is passed through them. The porosity of the filter is such that it would not allow these organisms to go or pass through this. So here is a, our sterile filtrate. This could be anything. Could be injection. Could be a medium that we use for, the, for growing of, of cells in a cell culture uh, laboratory. HEPA filter, as I mentioned, it removes microbes which are larger than 0.3 micrometer. Membrane filter that we use here, they comes in various porosity. The most of the time that we use is it allows bacteria, it does not allow bacteria larger than 0.22 micron, micrometer in size. Now, what are those conditions or situations where we would, we would only use filtration as a process of sterilization? Oh, now, this is a great question. Think about it. But just let me tell you that if we have a fluid that... I mean, we have a choice of sterilization, like heat is a very cheaper source for us to use as a, uh, as a means of sterilization. But because heat can inactivate some ingredients, can destroy or damage them, like glucose and other serum proteins, for example. So filtration comes handy as a means of sterilizing those uh, sensitive ingredients. 
So filtration is a, is a tool that we most often use for uh, purifying or uh, sterilizing uh, culture media. In summary, um, radiation and filtration could also be used for eliminating uh, microorganisms from various objects.